Good afternoon everyone. I welcome you back to my YouTube channel. Presenting before you this wonderful tutorial is Hamper Kleeman. And if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing, hitting the like button, and also don't forget to share to others. So today we have these practice questions under irrational numbers. And people ask questions, what are irrational numbers? Irrational numbers are simply numbers that cannot be expressed in the form A over B. Okay? They can't be expressed in this form. So, examples of irrational numbers Examples We have root of 2 root of 3 We also have root of 7 We can also have something like 22 over 7 which happens to be pi so pi is also an irrational number. But then how do we prove that this particular figure is an irrational number? We use what we simply call the contradiction method. We use the contradiction method. What is to contradict? To contradict is simply to argue, to make an argument. So in this case, let me just try to wrap my board. Okay, so let's try to make a little bit of some arguments. Now, how do we make the argument? Okay, let's start with the first question, which happens to be the simplest. So, the first question, let, we are going to say that instead of saying like, root, uh, root of 2 is uh, irrational, we are going to make an argument by simply saying root of 2 is rational so this is the argument okay now if root of 2 is rational then it simply means that remember that rational numbers are numbers which can be expressed in the form a over b so if root of 2 is irrational by our argument then it simply means that it will be expressed in the form a over b where b must not equal some zero because when b equals zero it becomes undefined now upon reaching here we can now say that since we have root of two equal in some a over some b we can uh, equate that to the power two even this side to the power two so that that and that can go we are going to have 2 equal to, this is going to be a over b, this is power 2, power 2. We can cross multiply, we are going to have a power 2 equal to 2b two power 2. When you reach here, notice what we are going to do. We are going to say that we can let a equal some k where k is even if that is true then it simply means that a squared is also going to equal to is also going to equal to okay Sorry, this is supposed to be 2k, like that. So this is going to equal to 2k, okay? Because a is even. Now when you reach there, what you're going to do is this. Where there is a, I can actually put my 2k like that, so that this becomes the power 2 equal to 2b squared. Now notice that if I expand that, I'm going to have 4k power 2 equal to 2b squared. If I divide by 2, I also divide by 2. Notice that my b is going to equal to, this is going to be 2k power 2. 
Notice that this part and this part are the same. And we prove that this part is even. So, notice that upon reaching here, upon reaching here, we are able to divide everything by two, right? If we want. But since this part is even, right? This part is even. And then from our argument, we said that re uh, root of two is rational. Have you seen what's happening? What is on the right, right hand side, is root of two. But what we're getting on the left hand side is simply something like 2k power 2, this thing. But then this part is even. In other words, any figure that I'm going to put on k is going to give me an even number. Therefore, this concept, this part, is not holding. Okay? Because what is on the right hand side is irrational, but what we're receiving on the left hand side is rational. So, because of that, it's not holding. Therefore, root of 2 is irrational. Okay, let's get to the second question. We have something like 2 plus root of, let me see. Okay, this is root of 2. Now, for this part, we are also going to use the contradiction method. So we can say, let 2 plus root of 2 be rational. If that is true, then 2, sorry, let me just wrap that. Then 2 plus root of 2 is going to equal a over b, where b must not equal some 0, because if b equals 0, then the function will be undefined. So now, when we reach here, we can now say root of 2 is going to equal to a over b minus 2, right? then this is going to be over 1. So we can say root of 2 is going to equal to b, b into b is simply 1, 1 multiplied by a, it's a minus this into that, it's b, b multiplied by that, this is going to be to b. But from here, from here you can, you can, you can make your conclusion. Because notice that, we know that root, root of 2 is irrational. Now check what's happening here. We have square root of 2 on the right hand side we have a minus 2b on the left hand side right but any figure that i'm going to put as long as that figure let me let me do this let's say x is some number we say x is such that x is a member of all real numbers right all real numbers and that x is let's say is a member of all let's say integers right so it means that from negative to positive from negative infinity to post infinity whatsoever figure that I'm going to put either on a or b is going to give me a rational number Now check what's happening. On the on the left, on the right hand side, we have an irrational number, but on the left hand side we have a rational number. So from this concept, we have proved that actually two is an irrational number. Because after solving it, we've discovered that it is producing something that is irrational. It can't hold. In other words, this part is not really holding. So whenever you notice that, whenever you notice that your irrational number is producing something that is irrational on the right hand side, 
then from there just proceed by simply saying root 2 plus 2 is irrational okay so sorry so had we produced something that was rational on the irrational on the on the left hand side then it was going to be something else so this is just how we go about solving this question it's very simple let's go to the third question the third one is simply saying root of 2 plus square root of 2 we prove that it is irrational so we have root of 2 plus root of 3 same method contradiction method we say we let root of 2 plus root of 3 be irrational sorry we let, we let it be irrational can let it be rational so now look at this if this be rational it means that it can be expressed in the form root of 2 plus root of 3 must equal a over b now look at this from here we can introduce square, uh, the, the, the square of 2 even here the square of 2 it means that we have root 2 plus root 3 multiplying each other then this is going to equal to a squared over b squared so root of 2 multiplied by root of 2 is simply 2 root of 2 multiplied by uh, root of 3 is simply 6 okay this simply six. Root of, of of three multiplied by root of this, it is simply plus. This is six. Okay. If you are getting confused, uh, whenever you are multiplying radicals, this can also be written as two multiplied by three, and that is why we are getting root of six. So that's the concept. That's the idea behind then root of 3 multiplied by root of 3 root of 3 multiplied by root of 3 we just cancel the radicals and then we maintain the figure so this is going to be plus 3 equal to a squared over b squared now notice what is going to happen we have 2 plus we have the 1 here and the 1 here as a coefficient so 1 plus 1 it's going to be 2 root of 6 plus 3 equal to a squared over b squared so here we are going to have 2 plus 2 root 6 let me just say that okay let me just wrap that so that i just do everything directly so that we don't waste time now look at this 2 plus 3 this is a 5 plus 2 root 6 equal to a squared over b squared now what is going to happen here is this we can get our 5 so that we remain with 2 root 6 equal to this is a squared over b squared minus 5 over 1 now look at this b squared is the common denominator b into b squared it's going to be one that we're going to have a squared minus we're going to have five b to the power two then from here this is going to be two root six equaling that so we can cancel everything by two even here everything by two so we are going to discover that we are going to have root of six equaling this is going to be a power 2 minus 5b power 2 over 
this is going to be 2b squared. Now look at this. What we have here is irrational. Remember that root of 6 is irrational. But what we have here is rational. Remember what I said? Whenever you discover this, what do you do? You immediately end everything. Okay? Therefore, you have proved that root of 2 plus root of 3 is irrational. Whenever you are proving irrational numbers, use contradiction method. And if it gives you something rational on the right hand side, on the left hand side, conclude from there that this particular equation, this particular question that you have been given is rational. This is just how we go about solving this question. It is very simple. If you find this video helpful, consider subscribing to my channel and also hitting the like button. Thank you.